My next guest fights at Bellator 210 coming up here November 30th. It is Daniel Carey joining me here on the program for the very first time. Daniel, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well, man. Uh, what does a typical Saturday look like for you? I see you're in the gym right now getting in some training, I take it. Uh, well, Saturday's like my rest day. Uh, I was just up here to train one of my kids, and I was going to leave as soon as we got done with this. Okay. Well, I won't keep you too long. I know I, you obviously want to enjoy that uh, downtime today, but uh, where did this all begin for you? How did you get involved in combat sports? Uh, well, when I was in high school, I got in a lot of trouble and uh, my dad wanted to teach me a lesson. So he brought me to this Muay Thai gym in, uh, in Oakland, California called Pacific Ring Sport. And he had me spar and they beat the tar out of me. And then, uh, yeah, that was like when I was like 15, 16. And then uh, I started training, had some amateur fights, took a long time off, came back, started fighting again. And then Cortez and that's where I'm at now. Okay. Good stuff, man. And, uh, along with fighting, uh, what else do you do for work? I guess you teach classes. Is that's what's uh, sort of paying the bills for you right now? Well, I teach at Conquer BJJ. I'm the kids Muay Thai coach and I also help out with classes throughout the day. I'm a purple belt in jujitsu. So I help out with jujitsu sometimes, but, uh, I work at Ada Nissan, which is also one of my sponsors. Oh, cool. Okay. How are they about uh, giving you time to train and, and uh, compete and everything else? Well, I did work at a, a big factory and I was making pretty good money, but I had to work like uh, just like 12 hour days, six days a week. So uh, I quit there, got a job at Ada uh, Nissan and they've been awesome. They give me all the time I need. Sometimes they let me leave early for training and things like that. Uh, what do you do for them there? I'm the lot porter. So like I, I move cars, check check alignment, stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. And, and I get, you probably get discounts too if you ever want to buy a car or anything. Yeah, yeah, I get an employee discount, that's definitely. Nice. Always good having those perks. Um, speaking of perks, uh, you're with Turpos. How did that all come together with you linking up with them? Uh, they sponsored me, I believe, for my first televised fight. And uh, they hooked up with my coach, Cortez. They sponsored him. And then in return, I got sponsored as well. Um, my daughter used to have seizures so she has like trouble sleeping all these things and and one day my my coach had me try some of the cbd oil with her and within like two three weeks it kind of it really helped with her and uh, she hasn't been off of it and i mean she's been taking it for about two years myself too so uh i'll always rep uh turp house regardless if they sponsor me or not for a fight so Okay. What, um, what, what is sort of your go-to for recovery these days as far as, uh, you know, healing up those bumps and bruises during training camp? Uh, well, we, uh, we go to cryo occasionally, but ice baths, definitely. I definitely go to probably like twice a week, have an ice bath. And you mentioned, and, and you mentioned the CBD as well, I guess, uh, using that just for, uh, you know, I guess, uh, inflammation and everything else sleeping well. Yeah. And, and plus, you know, you get hit in the head a lot and I think that helps with that. You've had a pretty good year so far as far as your uh, career. Um, your last fight especially, you get that submission win over Aaron Webb at Bellator 202. Uh, how happy were you with your performance in that fight, getting a finish in that one? Well, <clears throat> I wanted to keep it standing. I really wanted a knockout, but I, I don't know if he took me down or I slipped, but at some point I ended up on my back, and then from there I was able to get a submission. He is one of the toughest men I've ever met because I had him in a full tie plum on the cage and I was raining down knees on him and he didn't go down. So, I mean, he, all the respect in the world to Aaron. He's definitely tough. And uh, let's talk about your opponent here, Adil uh, Benjelani. I believe that's how you say it. He's got a 4 one record. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Um, well, I think he's a champion kickboxer is what some people told me and i seen him fight back when i was an amateur i think he was a pro and uh he's amazing he has great stand up i'm not sure about his ground game but uh it'll be nice to not worry about a takedown for once because uh usually i fight people that want to take me down and i'm not going to take him down and i doubt he's going to take me down so it's going to be a fun matchup for sure do you watch tape in your opponent at all or does your coach do that uh, usually my coach watches like a few rounds. I seen him fight a little bit, but I'm not a big fan of all that. I just, I'll figure it out when I get in there. You mentioned your coach. What about training partners? Who are some of the guys that are helping you get ready for this fight? 
Uh, well, I've been going to another gym uh, on Sundays for sparring, American Elite. Uh, those guys are awesome. Tons of guys my weight class there. Probably my main training partner is KV. Uh, Chris Vereen is his name. Uh, we call him KV. He is a beast. He's an up-and-coming amateur. He'll be going pro soon. You'll probably be giving him an interview within the next few years for sure. Okay. Well, I like hearing that. Uh, always looking for new prospects. Um, how's the weight cut going ahead of this matchup? I know we, this just got announced basically, I think, this week. Uh, so uh, how has that process started? Uh, yeah. I, well, I started – I walk around like hmm, – I shouldn't walk around this heavy, but I do. I walk around about 175, and I started my cut probably about a month ago. Um, definitely enjoyed my time off a little too much. But right now I'm probably like 59. 55 ish. So it won't be a bad cut for me at all. Kind of a bummer. This fights on the 30th. You got Thanksgiving before that. Like how do you navigate through Thanksgiving this year? Well, that's uh, to be honest, that's not going to be a, a, that big of a deal for me. I know it's like a eight days or something before my fight, but usually uh, my family eats pretty healthy. So I'll just have one healthy meal and drink a bunch of water and I'll be good. That's smart. I was going to say, you can also freeze uh, the Thanksgiving dinner and just have it after. That works too. Yeah, I'm not stressed out about that at all. <laughs> not at all. Fair enough. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, not 100% sure, but my coach, uh, Cortez Coleman, is always in my corner. And then uh, maybe Steven West. And I don't know who else my coach has picked. So I'm not sure. But usually it's uh, my buddy Steven West, Cortez Coleman, and then uh, Jeffrey. Uh, my jiu-jitsu coach. And how do you see this fight playing out on November 30th? Um, I think we're going to meet in the middle of the cage. He's going to dance. He has great pressure. And I think he's going to pick me apart at first, but then I'll land a big right hand. And he's going to wobble. He's probably going to fall. And I'll probably get another submission. But I'm not going for a takedown. I'm going to let him do that. Okay. I like that. Uh, what's next for you after this? I mean, obviously this will be the end of 2018. Uh, I mean, is Bellator going to start giving you some, some bigger name fights? Cause you're, you're on quite the roll right now. I imagine that's going to come very, uh, fairly soon. Well, I feel like I can't ask for anything. I'm, I'm kind of new in the sport. I've only been doing this two and a half, three years, maybe. So I'll just take whatever's given to me. Um, I'll let my, my coach Cortez, and he's also my manager. I'll let him deal with all that, but I would love a contract. I think, uh, this will be the second contracted fighter I fought. And when I win, I would assume I would get a contract and start, you know, fighting for Bellator on a regular basis. And, and that is the plan to, to try and stay with them. Right. Cause I'm sure you have other, I'm sure there's been other promotions trying to get a hold of you. Yeah. But, uh, it, man, it's hard to go. They, they want me to go to Canada or something like that. I'm, I'm in Oklahoma. I can drive an hour down to Vacaville and fight at Windstar. And I mean, that's, that's, that's awesome. You know? Yeah. No, I hear you on that. Uh, what about downtime? I know you're a busy guy, obviously with work and, and training and everything, but are you watching any Netflix, playing any video games, anything like that? Uh, we didn't own a TV and you know, I have three kids. So, I mean, you know, I play with them all the time, but we didn't own a TV until about uh, my second Bellator fight. We bought one, so Netflix is relatively new to me. I mean, you saw how much trouble I had with my phone. I'm not a. I'm not <laughs> you're, a you're bad. Fan. I must say, actually, you did, did a pretty good job. I've, I've seen a lot, lot, lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> but usually, yeah, I'm I'm playing with them. We barely ever play video games. Well, uh, so so I guess just hanging out with family. That's the downtime, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's going to be a great card. It's coming up here November 30th. It is Bellator 210. Uh, Daniel, it was great getting a chance to talk to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. All right. Well, uh, you can find me on anything Daniel Scary Carry, um, Instagram, any of that. It's all the same. And then, uh, of course, my name is Daniel Carey. I would like to thank Ada Nissan, Turp House for sure. Uh, comments from the Peanut Gallery. Jordan, you're awesome. Uh, Jag. Uh, a huge sponsor of mine. Love that lady. And then uh, Sweeney, uh, Sweeney Realty, Realty, I'm saying it wrong. Dan, you know I'm giving you love, man. And then IV Fusion and Ardmore, you guys are awesome. Schultzies, if you ever need any yard work done, that's the man to talk to. And then uh, Second Wind YouTube channel.